Hello, everyone. Today, we'll be discussing about the mechanisms of gene editing in response to urgent global health issues. My name is Kaylee Kim, and I'm a rising junior at Lockhart High School. I'm a founder and president of Melodies for Hope International, a president of Red Cross Club, and the director of opportunities of the One in STEM Club. I'm also a member of the Youth Executive Board of American Red Cross uh, Los Angeles region. I received a second place in American Red Cross National Youth Involvement Month Award, and I'm a Best Buddies International Student State Leader and Ambassador. I also worked as a high school researcher at the Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine at Brown Pre College Program, and I'm a participant at 2021 and 2022, the Global Health Leaders Conference at Johns Hopkins University. I'm also a finalist at the Certificate of Merit panel and, a, and received a Minister Prize at the Center for the Gifted Youths and Performing Arts in South Korea. Hello, my name is Nina Lee. I'm a junior in Korean Minjo Leadership Academy. I'm currently a co-captain in uh, Kamele Mock Trial and co-captain in Explore Moon to Exoplanets, which is an astrophysics research club. I'm a recipient of National Hansel Nobel Scholarship and a participant of 2022 Global Health Leadership Conference at Harvard University and Johns Hopkins University. I placed third in state science here for the research for antibacterial effects of Myra and fourth in national mock trial competition. Uh, I received members of Congress citation for award in South Korea and currently am a cheerleading state champion. Mechanisms of gene editing have rapidly revolutionized over the past few decades, leading to technologies including genetically modified organisms to be a topic of good debate. While some groups have argued that GMOs, especially in our food, are dangerous, others have found ways for GMOs to immensely improve access to nutrient sources. For instance, the recent crisis in Ukraine due to the long-lasting war with Russia has resulted in many soldiers and citizens to suffer from severe malnutrition and fish shortages. According to the United Nations, the war in Ukraine has increased the risk of a massive malnutrition crisis for millions of children in other emergencies because of its already huge impact on global food prices. Moreover, the UNICEF has declared that as the war in Ukraine continues, millions of children in the Middle East and North Africa at risk at increased risk of malnutrition amid food price hikes. The vitality of the mechanisms of gene editing in response to the urgent global crisis can be proven through the catastrophic direct consequences that Ukrainian citizens face these days. Due to the war between Ukraine and Russia, which has lasted for more than a month now, not only the countries themselves, but also the foreign countries, including Africa, are suffering from food crisis. To combat this, scientists have come up with an army MRE, also known as Meals Ready to Eat, which contain the necessary nutri nutrition that the human body requires each day. Army MREs can easily satisfy the recommended nutrient intake by utilizing GMOs that contain a magnified amount of required nutrients. Our topic highlights the benefits of programs like these, as well as the potential benefits of gene editing mechanisms used to better understand, used to better understand human diseases and the aging processes, such as the prevention of pill nutrition and the CRISPR aim to enhance the treatments for genetic diseases, which are strongly relevant to global health. By building a balanced community around the globe, we may also gain deeper insight into the underlying causes of worldwide health issues, such as HIV AIDS and birth defects, and understand the, understand the involvement of cultural, economic, environmental, political, or genetic factors. Furthermore, through the presentation of recent researches in genetic modifications of crops, our topic highlights how scientists widely utilize mechanisms of gene editing as a solution for the ongoing global crisis. In addition, it emphasizes the point that the gene editing skills are also rapidly utilized as a treatment for human diseases, aiming to convey a message that it is a revolutionary mechanism which can be extensively used as a response for multiple health issues worldwide. As in 2022, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, there are three types of genetic modification methods for crops. Traditional crop modification, genetic engineering, and genome editing. First off, traditional crop modification. Uh, traditional crop modification is when two similar plants cross-pollinate in controlled environments to create a new plant with desired traits. 
Most food we eat today are originally created by this method. And secondly, genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is more controlled than the traditional crop modification as scientists make sure the desired gene is copied. It copies a gene with a desired trait in one organism and puts it into another. One example is Bt, Bt crops that are genetically modified with a strain of Bacillus bacterium. Bacillus is known for containing endospore toxins, therefore does genetically modified crops obtain resistance to certain insects. There are many other ways of inserting gene in genetic engineering technology. The gene gun is utilized to bombard the plant cell wall with many DNA coated metal particles by using compressed helium as propellant. Another example is agrobacterium, which is used after disarming the disease causing properties for the horizontal gene transferring property. Agrobacterium method is more controlled than gene gun, but it does not work equally on every plant plant species, as not all plant species are subject to plant tumor. A gene editing technique called CRISPR-Cas9 can be used to precisely cut and replace a particular genomic sequence. The Cas9 protein functions as a set of molecular scissors that are directed to a particular genomic target by a readily interchangeable RNA guide. When it locates a certain genetic sequence, it removes it. The target DNA can then be removed or replaced after being cut. Any gene in any species of plants can be edited by genome engineering using the CRISPR-Cas9 system, which enables faster genetic alteration than any uh, than other approaches due to its simplicity, effectiveness, low cost, and ability to target many genes. For example, plant materials including cali, leaf discs, protoplasts, and flowers can uh, have been employed. The objective of the applications include increasingly increasing grain yield, altering metabolic pathways, and improving resilience to biotic or abiotic stress. The introduced mutations are inherited by the following generation of plants, demonstrating that plant genome editing can be used for plant research and the production of useful plants. As we presented in the previous slides, GMO are becoming the main source of food as days go on. It is now perhaps safer than non-GMO as each GMO are tested with medical standards such as allergic reaction, carcinogen, and etc. GM technology with proven safety and effectiveness will contribute to solving malnutrition and food shortage, not only in the Ukraine crisis, but also in other third world countries. In fact, mainstream GM company Monsanto is making profit out of genetically modified food and making donations with their genetically modified products to people in poverty, therefore financially, economically, and physically providing support to people in need. Another good example is golden rice. Golden rice product, which is genetically engineered to include beta carotene, a precursor of vitamin A prevents severe rank blindness. Patent holders of golden rice negotiated access to all pieces of the puzzle, it pieces of the puzzle actively necessary for the intended humanitarian purposes, providing the Golden Rice Humanitarian Board with the right to sub-license breeding institutions in developing countries free of charge. As these are only a small portion of advantages GMO brings to human, rightful investment in GMO could potentially become the ultimate solution to global health issues. Without GMO, malnutrition and food shortage may be more severe than what it already is. Global health issues, including the ongoing crisis in Ukraine, are widely addressed and researched with the revolutionary mechanisms of gene editing. In response to universal food shortages, gene editing has often been employed as genetic modification of crops, which gradually enable solutions to the worldwide health issues. It is vital to note that the mechanisms of gene editing have also been extensively utilized to prevent humans' genetic diseases. Such revolutionary mechanisms should be widely recognized by the public, and further research should be rapidly progressed, progress, as it offers prominent treatments and solutions to global health issues, which otherwise may have faced catastrophic dire consequences throughout the globe. There's our work cited page, and please don't hesitate to contact us with the email or Instagram address below. Thank you so much for listening to our presentation. Hmm.